Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. Okay, so in between episodes, we went ahead and spruced up our inventory a little bit. As you can see, we have a few super streams just in case, got a few attack items just in case, and of course we still have our live stream. So that's pretty good, we got rid of all the uh, useless mushrooms I had, I had a couple of those, but... <laughs> Alright, so our next objective, as instructed by X, was to head into the watering hole, which is the little, uh, juice bar here. And, uh, oh no, it's this guy again. Ah, my lovely mademoiselle. She is one tough cookie, as you would say, huh? Oh, I cannot even sleep. The pink spots on that head invade me very dreams. Eh, yeah, well, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure he's talking about the, uh, the little toad chick that was standing over here earlier. Not there now, though. I wonder where she went to. Alright, what's up, man? Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package in a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this the letter was talking about is this. Whoa, holy crap, we get a super hammer. Awesome. Kind of an out-of-the-blue upgrade there, wouldn't you say? Hey, it's Toadette again. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. So nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Want to learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before pressing B. Alright, so we get to try it out here. We just hold down B, rotate a little bit, and there we go. You don't have to do it the whole way. I mean, you can keep rotating and it'll twist up even more, but you can pretty much just... Uh, like, let them twist up once and then do it, so, yeah, it saves a little bit of time. Whoa, oh man, that's a big block. With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh gee, I almost forgot, you can use the super hammer in battle too, try it. See you later, Mario, good luck with your quest. Alright, see ya, Toadette, I'm sure we'll be seeing you again later. So far as I can tell, that hammer's a new model, the Hammerwhack 2005. Real nice hammer all around, solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Mario, another email! Alright, what do you say this time? Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? Oh, what's behind it, you think? I don't know, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so, uh, with our next objective in hand, yeah, this is a little bit different from the stuff we had been doing in between, uh, <laughs> battles before, huh, back in the minor leagues. So now we have to go back into the minor league locker room, and apparently there's a blockade we can smash with our new hammer, so, let's go there. And normally you can't get back into the minor leagues, but uh, for some reason, when you talk to the guard here, Ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. Yeah, normally he would say you're restricted to the locker room, like, according to your league, but we can uh, get back here now that he's been given the word, apparently. But, hey, it's these guys. What's up, guys? Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. <laughs> No, it's alright, guys. It's okay. Alright, so there's a huge block over here that we can break with our newfound uh, super hammer. So, cool. Let's go back here. Ah, I see a paper up there. Now, we're going to have to use our Yoshi buddy here to uh, jump up and flutter kick across. Of course, I missed it. <laughs> Figures. Well, let's try it again. There we go. Alright, and let's get Kumbella back out for the dialogue purposes. And we get a dubious paper. Wow, that looks very dubious. Mario, do you believe what that is? It's a scientific report on the crystal stars. Someone was researching the crystal stars, and they even have pictures. You know, it's really weird that someone would just leave this laying around. Yeah, especially on top of a bookshelf. Oh, Jolene. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? Ah, eh, well... I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Aw, but we worked really hard for that paper. Ah, that sucks. What's that chick's beef? It was totally hard work getting that info. Yeah, totally, I know, man. That's what I just said. Well, whatever. At least it sounds like the Crystal Star is somewhere in here. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. 
I mean, that is what the map told us. I think we had that figured out from the start, right? Okay, so with that, I think that's everything for the uh, little side stuff in between battles. So uh, I guess for now, we can pretty much just head back and maybe get a few more in before we run out of time. Okay, so the next match. What do we got? Uh, next up is rank 7th, the Shell Shockers. Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, appeal to the crowd three times. Oh man, that's such a waste. Okay, fine. How's our health? Yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see, Shell Shockers. Okay, so, uh, well, we might as well just explain this later, I guess. Um, so, yeah, okay, Goombell is fine, I suppose. Alright, yep, take me to the match. Let's go. There we are. So as you can see, the Shell Shockers are really just a bunch of Koopas, you know, it makes a, it makes a lot of sense for their name, but uh, these aren't exactly as easy as the first Koopas we fight. Remember King P and all that? Uh, it, not exactly as easy as them, and uh, I guess for a reason that I don't really want to demonstrate, but uh, I probably should. <laughs> but, okay, so uh, we knocked this guy over, he slipped over, so it seems like he can't really do anything now that he's slipped over, he's got no defense. But check this out. Look at that, man, six damage to both of us. You do not want to let these guys attack when they're flipped over. So basically, if you're going to do jump attacks on these guys, you need to take them out in that turn, uh, or else they're going to cause some real havoc on your party. I'm also going to get one of the appeals out of the way here. Thankfully, I mean, you can block their regular attacks when they're not turned over for just one damage, so you know, that's really not that bad. Uh, but what I usually do is uh, just jump on them here and knock them over, and then I use Goombella's uh, multi bonk to do enough damage to finish them off. Okay, well that didn't even work once. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, good. I super guarded that. There's actually a reason you don't want them to uh, do that too much, uh, as we're going to get to see here in a little bit uh, after this battle's over anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and get one more appeal in. And I'll let this guy attack. And then I guess we need to uh, finish off our appeal since there's only one left. I kind of like to do that. Uh, just do the appeals like whatever you're... Uh, and that's not bother tattling, let's just defend, I guess, doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I kind of like to do that if it's on a turn where you can't really get much done anyway. Like, all Goombella would be able to do is flip them over, which really wouldn't help us that much, it actually hurt us, so. Alright, let's try out the multi bonk again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. Whew, alright, man. <laughs> You're getting a little bit lucky with the super guards here, I guess, huh? Alright, yeah, I don't know, I usually don't have that much trouble. I think the stylish command was actually throwing me off a little bit, because she kind of does a little flip in place, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know, I think that was messing me up. What'd you expect, huh? We rock! Yeah, totally. Gonzalez! Oh no, it's you guys again? Come on, man. Isn't there, like, ringside security in this place? Oh, Nelly, I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're going to pay for it. Aw, oh, a little tired from your match, great stinkwad. Too bad, prepare for pain. <laughs> okay, so now we're facing the uh, the Iron Twins here again. So what we want to do is basically exactly the same thing as last time. It literally hasn't changed. Uh, just use your gulp. Just make sure you have enough health to uh, survive their attacks. I think I should have enough here. Yeah, okay, you only do three when they block, so that's fine. See, that's why you don't want to let those uh, stupid Koopas get too much damage in on you. Because, you know, then you might have to, like, waste a turn healing or something. You know, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but uh, it, it's definitely a lot more time-saving to uh, take those guys out first without letting them do too much. Oh, wow, I guess I could be reading this. I guess it's a little bit different, huh? Kid, don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. <laughs> All right. So we took out both the shell shockers or shell. I don't remember what the name was. Something with shells. We took those guys out, and we took out the iron twins again. So our ranking rose to seven. We get twelve coins, and we can move on. Oh, another one of these. Come on. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex-buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? 
Uh, someone who doesn't like us, apparently. Okay, so we're at the 10 minute mark here. We're about to run out of time, so what I'm going to do is take a rest here, and then uh, in the next part, we'll continue on with the battling and make some more progress. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.